We're here for the multi-stage hybrid system, which is launched on the Lexus LC500H. It's the newest evolution of our hybrid system, and it multiplies the possibilities that we had in the past. The different thing about multi-stage is that we add another gearbox. So we already have a CVT system, but we add another four-speed gear ratio behind that. With the new LC500, we wanted something that feels much more sportive, much more manual. And by introducing the automatic transmission, the four-speed transmission, to our already existing hybrid system, we can accommodate that need completely. So now the system can shift in 10 different gears and it will give you that physical feeling, that link between engine speed and vehicle speed. So you have a sports feeling, a dynamic experience. The CVT will actually simulate three different gear steps. The three mechanical gear steps in the transmission multiply uh, that three to nine. And then you have a final gear step, which is the tenth, and that's an overdrive. The beautiful part of this system is that there is no limit to the amount of gears that we can, uh, can choose and our power control unit is so advanced that it can do any type of gear change in less than 100 milliseconds and without shift shock, without delay. So very, very fast gear change. Very similar to any other sports car, you will run through first, second and third. It's not like you'll be shifting continuously. The higher you go up in speed, the longer your gear will actually uh, remain. That in a nutshell is what the multi-stage hybrid does and I'm quite sure that once we see this LC500 on the road, I'm looking forward to that, it'll be a revolution in the way hybrids are perceived and in the way we experience a hybrid drive. Hybrid technology built up over many years. A chargeable hybrid system with an added external charging function. This is the Toyota plug-in hybrid system. Each unit utilizes this hybrid system with its proven track record. When its plug is connected, the charging unit feeds electricity to the batteries. We have units that are compatible with power sources from various nations. The drive battery has a large capacity for storing electrical power and supplying it to the motor to power the car. These are high output batteries with superior durability and heat resistance. The power control unit is the core of the plug-in hybrid system. It supplies the right amount of electrical power to each unit to control them. The motor is compact, yet it is highly efficient and achieves smooth acceleration. The generator uses the engine rotation to generate electricity which is sent to the motor and the drive batteries. It is also used to start the engine, providing smooth starting, as well as being used as a motor during EV driving. Using a one-way clutch between the engine and the transaxle makes it possible to make the generator drive as a motor. There is additional power when both motors are operating together. For the engine, the maximum thermal efficiency has been raised and both low fuel consumption and low emissions achieved. The power split device is the core technology that divides the energy output from the engine between electrical generation and driving according to the driving conditions. The plug-in hybrid system is the next evolution of our advanced technology Toyota hybrid system.
In a modern sports car, I'm looking for outstanding driving dynamics combined with maximum efficiency and everyday practicality. I doubt a plug-in hybrid can deliver on all these points. Our answer? The powerful plug-in hybrid system made by BMW. First, the intelligent plug-in hybrid in the new BMW i8 combines the best of both worlds in that it has a petrol engine and an electric motor. The first is a twin power turbocharged three cylinder sitting on the rear axle, delivering an output of 231 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. And the latter is an electric motor that represents the latest addition to BMW's E Drive technology. The electric motor is sitting on the front axle, and centrally mounted between them is a powerful battery, all of which were specifically designed by BMW. This is how we ensure the highest quality standards and is, I think, the best response to the issue of practicality. Second, the BMW i8 is very dynamic. The battery I just mentioned creates a very low center of gravity. Riding a BMW i8 is a bit like driving on rails. And there's an all-wheel drive to add that extra margin to this kind of dynamic driving experience. When you're operating the combustion engine only, you have a rear wheel drive. When you're driving all electric, it's a front wheel drive. What's more, the BMW i8 boasts a combined maximum of 362 horsepower and a top speed of 250 kilometers an hour. Third, the BMW i8 is very efficient. That's the beauty of the plug-in hybrid system. The electric motor takes the load off the combustion engine while it packs an extra punch. And the result is, it's the performance of a thoroughbred sports car with the fuel consumption of a compact car. It's only 2.5 liters per 100 kilometers. 
Now, you might argue that a battery has only so much power and is quickly drained, but when not in full boost mode, the kinetic energy of the moving car recharges the battery. Or, simpler put, the battery recharges while you drive your BMW i8. Even the energy when you hit the brakes is being recuperated. Back at home to top up your battery, all you have to do is plug it into your BMW i wall box. If there's no wall box available, you may also plug it into a common wall socket.